Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share today's video with you. Today I'm going to do a makeover on the master bathroom of our mobile home and I have to say it's by far one of my favorite makeovers yet. If you're new to my channel we live in a 97 mobile home that we have been renovating and making it exactly how we want it without breaking the bank. I try to keep all of these makeovers within a reasonable budget that anyone can do but if you haven't seen the other videos, I'll link the playlist down below. You don't have to. So right now we have yellow walls, brown doors, outdated cabinets, and countertop. So I'm going to give this room a complete facelift. The only thing I'm not touching is the floor. We do have carpet in here. Um, we're going to have the whole house done at one time once all of the renovations are complete. We would also like to paint the bathtub or maybe replace it eventually because it is aged and it just doesn't vibe with the rest of the bathroom anymore. But before we get into all that, I am so very thankful to say that today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I cannot tell you guys how much we appreciate this meal kit service whenever we're doing these renovations. Meal planning and grocery shopping is one less thing that we have to worry about. So it saved us a lot of time this week. We were able to get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less each night. It all comes packed fresh and delivered to your door with everything that you need to make each meal. All of the meals come with step-by-step, -step, easy to follow instructions as well. So the first night of starting the renovations, we made these really yummy beef and cheese tostadas. I was excited to see all of the produce that came with this meal in pristine condition and everything pre-portioned. Because of that, it was the perfect amount. We didn't have anything wasted. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week. That's one of the things that I love about HelloFresh is that we try new things, things that we would never think to make on our own and they're all so delicious. They also have healthier options like low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian. It's flexible to fit your lifestyle. You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences. And you can even skip a week whenever you need to. HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the pandemic crisis. To get started, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, I'm taking everything off these counters and getting started on the prep work. I need to remove all the light and outlet covers, and I also need to remove the strips from the walls because we do live in a mobile home and we have these strips going down the seams of the walls. So to give it more of a home look and feel, I will remove those and replace them with joint compounds.
The next thing I'm going to do is remove the hardware from the cabinets. I want to spray paint those a different color. These are a gold color and they're just outdated, but I'll share with you the color and everything that I use to paint them with. So I only had one paint tray and I really didn't want to spend money on more or getting liners so I made my own with putting a trash bag down and then a piece of foil on top of that and that way I could reuse the same tray and just replace the trash bag and foil when I needed to. Go and find my wild dreams, yeah, I'd kill to feel it all shake you like a twisted mind game, I'll be burned by your flame, oh. I'm going to start priming the cabinets and the doors now, and this is the primer that I will be using. You know I love it, you know I love it, love and hate romantic sin, fire and ice gone with the wind, you know I love it. I'm gonna get this mirror while I'm at it. We could reframe it and it probably would look better if we could, but for now we're happy with just painting it white. But I really wanted to share something with you guys in this video. I had came across a post on Facebook the other day by Me Too Sister. I'll put a link to her Facebook page down below, but the post really hit home for me and I thought you guys might need to hear it as well. Um, I'm not gonna like read it word for word, but it talks about normalizing normal living situations not everybody has a magazine worthy home and sometimes we get caught up in comparing and thinking that we need to have it as well or we're embarrassed of what we do have um, it's okay to live in a small house an old house a trailer a tiny apartment it is completely normal and even myself I find myself comparing our home to these perfect homes that you see on Pinterest and Instagram and even YouTube and so whenever I read this post it really reminded me to be grateful for what I do have and that anything can be made a home just the other day I told my mom because I do live with her that this is really turning out to be our Dave Ramsey home we don't live in a mansion but we've made this trailer a home with what we could afford to do so I wanted to pass that along to you guys. If you want to read the post for yourself, I'll have her page down below. It was just really refreshing for me to read and I thought you guys might enjoy it as well. Onto the beadboard, I'm using beadboard wallpaper for the fronts of the cabinets to add a little character to them and I'll link the wallpaper that I'm using down below. I found it on Amazon. It's really easy to use. I just measured and cut to the size of the fronts of the cabinets and then you just wet the back of the paper and that'll activate the glue and then you just place it on your surface you can slide it around and kind of manipulate it how you want to get it until you have it in the right spot and then you just want to make sure that you press really good so that it stays in place it's a colorful night got red eyes but it's all blue those colorful eyes they don't shine like they used to the city don't want us, babe. We want to survive this place. The city don't want us. The city don't want us. And if I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie. I, no, honestly, it doesn't feel like home. Like home. So you want to let that wallpaper dry first, but I'm going to go in with a white paint and paint all the cabinets and doors. And this is just a white paint that we had on hand that needed to be used up. Nothing special. I didn't have it color mixed or anything. It's just the white that comes in the can straight off the shelf. to 
fading out underwater. Yeah, are we losing touch? Are we falling? And if I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie. I, no, honestly, it doesn't feel like home. Like home. So while I was at it, I decided to give the trim a fresh coat of white to brighten things up. It was already white, but it had been some years, so it wasn't as bright as it once was. Come closer, dance for me. It's the next day now, and it's time to paint the walls, but first I need to sand where I put the joint compound along the strip lines so that it's smooth and blends with the rest of the wall. This is the color that we're using. It's called Horizon Gray by Benjamin Moore. The color is inspired by Hillary from Old World Home. She painted her bathroom this color and we fell in love with it. It's a gray with a green undertone to it. And y'all excuse the coffee stain on my shirt. I spilled coffee on my shirt first thing this morning, but because it's my paint shirt, it was gonna get messed up anyways.
How do I get this low? You come over and we start a fight Never know who's wrong or right Feel nothing when you go I know it's not intelligent Drinking for the hell of it But that's irrelevant now We should talk about with us How come we're holding on? Cause really I don't see the benefits now so while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the countertop. As I've done all throughout the house, I'm going to do the faux granite using acrylic paints, except I'm going to use different colors this time. First, I'm going to prime the counters. I did two coats to cover that green. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to upgrade your counters without buying new ones, this is a really great way to do it and you can't mess it up. These paints are like 50 cent a piece. Um, and I use three to four different colors and I just blot them onto the counter using a sponge. But I'll show you guys that process in just a second. While my primer is drying, I'm going to get my hardware back onto the cabinets, but first I'll show you what I used to spray paint them with. So I just took them all outside onto a trash bag and then I sprayed them down with this Rust-Oleum paint in the color Oil Rubbed Bronze. I found it at Walmart. Alright, so now we can begin painting the countertop. The first thing I'm going to do is mix these three colors together until I get the shade that I want. I had sat down last night and I played with the paints to get this specific color that I got with these three mixed together. So I couldn't tell you how much of each, but you can kind of see when I put it into the bowl. I just added however much of each one until the color looked right to me. Um, I'll have the paints listed in my description box so you can reference back. So this is the color I got and I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to start actually painting. The first paint I'm going in with is this granite gray and I'm just going to evenly blot that all over the counter leaving some gaps not too close together. I'm just using a piece of a sponge that I've cut. It can be any kind of sponge that you have but you want it to be torn or cut so that when you blot your paint you don't have perfect little stamps. You want it to have those imperfections because that's what real granite looks like. So I've let the dark granite color dry and now I'm going in with this timeless gray and I'm just going to blot in those white spots and then here and there over the dark granite and that's going to really help it all blend together. Funny how it changed in a matter of time For 
first you were so easy But now I can't even get through to your mind Cause you don't wanna listen I know everything about you Like it's hard for you to be true, oh Funny how it changed in a matter of time Phone is ringing, always at a bad time Every time it flash your name Always leaving, then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to blame Now I'm taking the color that I mixed together and I'm covering up even more of the white areas. If you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back So this is what it looks like after those three colors. So now what I'm going to do to blend everything together and to lighten it up some because it was a little darker than we like, I'm going to go in with some white and dab that all over until the counter is as light as I want. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it back. but you just let it dry and then you want to seal it with some polyacrylic. I sealed mine with three coats and then you don't put anything on the counter for at least 24 hours. Make it forget about what's wrong. Let it all out of me. And now my favorite part, it's time to decorate. I went on Amazon and I found a few things to hang, but also things that would be functional as well. I've got some greenery and these tins that I found the perfect use for, which you'll see in a minute. And um, we've got a wreath and then also some shelves. I'll have everything that I got linked down below for you. Pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You 
look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you, want to see you? When I got this shelf, I made sure to get one that had a hand towel bar on it as well. We had a full-size towel rod up here before, but we never used it for full-size towels. We would just hang our hand towels on it. So I got these shelves that we could put stuff on to get it up off the counter, but also to put our hand towels on as well. And another thing that we decided to do is hang this mirror instead of the window that I painted. If you watch my vlogs, I've been working on a window that I had planned to hang in here, but we also had this tucked behind the couch that I had actually forgot about. And when I saw it, we decided that this will look better for that wall. It's a little bit smaller and because it's a mirror, it kind of opens up the bathroom. But I do plan to still use that window in my mom's bedroom when we get to that. This mirror already had a hanging wire on it, so to hang it, I just used one of these hooks. These are really good for hanging heavy stuff like this. Even though this is smaller than the original window we planned to hang, it was much, much heavier. So I wanted something secure. They keep on telling lies that is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and what is right We keep moving in different rhythms Still I know what you feel We keep moving So what I'm doing with these tins, I'm taking our washcloths and rolling them up and setting them down in there. I think they look really pretty on display and it's functional.
instead of setting out the hand soap bottle, I'm going to pour it into one of our glass soap dispensers. They just look nicer to me than the soap bottle and because fall is coming soon, I'm using one of our fall scents. All right, y'all, real quick flashback to what this bathroom looked like before, and then I will show you guys the after. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there. The shower curtain is also from Amazon. I'll have it linked as well. But I just want to thank you all for watching today's video. We are so very happy with how this bathroom turned out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's like walking into a brand new bathroom. We have one more room left and that will be the master bedroom. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be planning to do that about September. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.